Hey guys, how you going? Yeah, it all actually ran smoothly today. <laughs> That's always good when that happens. Awesome. So today I'm trying to toss around between two ideas. I'm thinking of drawing either a pair of dolphins or a sparrow. So yeah, I'd love <laughs> a bit of help making this choice. So yeah, um, sparrow or dolphins, undecided. So I'm just thinking I might, I might go. Hi, Obi, how are you going? So what do you reckon, kiddo? Do you reckon dolphins or sparrow? What would you prefer to see drawn and painted today? Hi, Dee's Art Studio, how are you going? Awesome to have you here, guys. So, yeah, I was just asking, um, oh, do you reckon, do you, would you like to see me draw, draw and paint dolphins or sparrow? So, a little sparrow. So, I'm happy to do either either. I've got a few reference photos of each. Um, dolphins. Okay, dolphins it is. All right. So, I shall get my reference photo up. And I have a few different reference photos. So, now I'm going to start drawing my little dolphins. So, I'm going to do a mum and a bub. So I'll just do the shape of the head. So how have you all been? Hi, Madonna, how are you going? Awesome to have you back here. Just doing a picture of a pair of dolphins today. So I got this, or I got a few different references I'm working on. So it should be... Cool, so I'm going to mix them up a bit and try and make one picture out of a few different pictures. And I haven't drawn dolphins in Yonks, but I felt really inspired because they're such beautiful animals. And I was going through all my references and all that sort of stuff to try and get some ideas. So I'll do the little mum and her bub. So I'm just drawing in the outline and yeah, I'll do it in watercolour today too. So that'll be good. So what time is it where you guys are? Hi, Bad Habit. How are you going? Oh, North Carolina. Wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> So it was a toss-up today whether to do dolphins or or um, or uh, uh, finches. So I thought, and Obi helped me decide. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. So I just do Mum's tail in. And her tail's sort of upturned a little bit. Tidy that up with a, an eraser and a tick. So have you all had a good arty week? Been doing lots. <laughs> Definitely been a busy old week here. 7.03 where you are. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's 8 o'clock in the morning on, oh, what day is it? Saturday here. Yeah. So, and I'm going to do this little baby dolphin. In the reference photo I've got, it's above the mum, but I'm going to pop it down here. Baby dolphins are so cute. They are just adorable. I've seen them. We get them occasionally on our beaches down here, and they're quite beautiful things. See more seals and dolphins, though. Oh, you're in Missouri. Oh, that's cool. Oh, good. Okay, it's a good time then. I picked a good time. I was try sort of trying to pick a time when no one else was live streaming, but but um, across the world was sort of a reasonable time, so not too close, not too late, um, not too early. Because I, I streamed last week and I, I think it was a half or a, half an hour, an hour earlier than today. And, yeah, a lot of Australians didn't weren't up <laughs> because it was just too early for them on a weekend. 
but I sort of thought I'll find a roundabout time. So I'm just doing this little bub and its tail sort of side on. Okie doke. So its tail goes like that. All right, and that's pretty good. We're a beginning sketch. Now I've got to decide how I'm going to do the background. Okay, so I am going to get my paintbrush happening. I grab my really big round brush. And can you guys hear me okay? Because I've got just still fiddling with the setup, trying to get it all right. So I'm just going to pop wet the background paper. So I'm using Archer's paper today. So I'll wet the background just so that when I drop the first lot of water in, it will flow around easier. And it looks like it's going to be a nice day here. I've got a window in front of me, so I just poke my head up to have a look and see what it's looking like. And it's looking good, not too smoky today, which is nice. So the smoke haze is finally starting to lift. I think all that rain that Victoria had helped. So that's a good thing. We just need some more now to help put the fires out. Everything crossed. I think there's more predicted this week. So with a bit of luck, um, I'm doing, yes, I am. I am. I'm doing it through my fossil. <laughs> I have the oldest, I've got a 10-year-old uh, big computer that um, I actually didn't think would be capable of streaming. So uh, we, my kids and I fiddled with it and got it so that we could do this with it. Um, it'll get me through the next couple of weeks. My kids are now, I've got an old, or a, a younger than this laptop that my kids are going to uh, reformat for me. So they're in the, they've taken all the, everything off it. So now hopefully it'll... Um, be able to run for next week it'll be able to run my stream so i'm going to pop some cobalt blue gonna be a bit braver with my strokes into the background and i'm going to leave some little light bits for the top of the water i'm doing it whoops like that so that that sort of shows the light coming through and i'm doing quite a light wash just to um, so I can see where it's sort of at because I'm not 100% confident with water so that's what I love about live streams too I'm practicing things I don't usually do and I don't do an awful lot of water so you're sharing my art journey guys <laughs> so yeah um, uh, yeah, I thought I've got to be brave. And, yeah, the sparrow, I picked a, a sparrow picture as well. But um, I picked quite a complex background. But between the two, water's harder. So this is a fun challenge. So I'm leaving little patches of dots. You can see little bits of I'm not covering the whole paper. I'm leaving little areas. And that will just be natural little highlighty bits. Oh, thank you, Obi. That's sweet. So now I'm just sort of looking at, I've got about three reference photos in front of me and the water seems to be like the sky. It's darker at the top. So I'll add another slightly thicker wash of cobalt into the top. Actually, this picture looks better than last week, I think. So I'll pop a slightly darker, slightly th just thicker, less water, of cobalt blue and I'll still leave some ripply bits take it around the edge of the dolphin so yeah, this is um this paper is hot press so it's very smooth I love working on smooth paper I'm not not a giant fan of textured paper for that because I've always been a drawer first I think and so that's where I love smooth paper Okay, so it does look a bit dotty here, but I think that's just the granulation of the blue. Hi, Jane, how are you going? Oh, you made a, li a, a live, Jane. Oh, cool. 
How'd you go? How'd you find it? It's good fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's great fun. Highly addictive. <laughs> so now I'm going to do the bottom of the water. So I'll just darken that up a fraction. So, yeah, I'm not, not done a lot of water, so it's an interesting thing to try. I might let that dry a little bit. See you, Obi. Have a great night or day, <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> so I'm just going to tidy up this little bit here. It's going to get me kitchen cloth and just mop up. Just that dolphin had a little bit I got on his head. Just a bit too much water there. Oh, that's lovely. Chrissy's awesome. Oh, my goodness. She is so awesome. Did you see her stream the other day? Oh, my God, it was fantastic. Oh, I laughed. <laughs> She's so entertaining and a beautiful artist on top. So that's awesome. Okie doke. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit. So I might go on to the dolphin and I'm going to grab, I'm using silver black velvet brushes and the dolphins are sort of a grey colour. So, so where are you from, Jane? So I'm going to pop the grey. I might wet. He's still a little bit damp. So I'm just going to turn the volume off and I'm going to quickly, oh, no, my dryer's not plugged in, so I won't be doing that. I'll just let it go naturally. Oh, cool, bananas. <laughs> awesome, the UK. So, yeah, lovely. So it's winter there. I've actually seen friends, my friends are sending photos and there's snow in places and things because we're, in, of course, in the midst of summer and it's horrendously hot most of the time. But, yeah, oh, God, what it would be so lovely to have snow. <laughs> Not 20 feet of it, of course, but, yeah, snow. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm an Aussie. I live in Victoria. So I'm near Melbourne. So I'm about an hour out of Melbourne. And the furthest I've been is Tasmania. <laughs> oh, no, I went to New Zealand. I lie. I went to New Zealand for my daughter's birthday, and that was beautiful. Love New Zealand. It's the most magnificent place. But I love Tassie. I love Tassie and New Zealand because they're both cold places and Australia's too hot. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to mix up a grey. So into my cobalt blue mix, I'm going to pop a smidge of burn umber to make... And more naturally grey. I was checking on my little swatch of paper thing beside me. So it comes out a bluey grey. And now I'm going to pop a little bit of that into the mum dolphin. Windy and wet, have a sun in Sydney. Oh, cool. He said him and his wife there for three months last year. Oh, that's awesome. Very, very good. Yeah, I haven't actually been to Sydney. I've got family in Sydney. My niece... And her kids are up there. But yeah, I haven't been to Sydney. You're sleeting. Ooh, I'll oh, send it here. Send it here. <laughs> Love it. So I, I'd wet this paper, but because we've got a decent sort of warm day here, and it's only, what is it now? It's quarter past eight in the morning. Um, my paper's drying really quick, so I didn't have to worry about the hair dryer. Yay, that worked well. Love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> uh, the rocks along the coast, is that down here? Oh, Sydney. Yeah, that's gorgeous, I've heard. I haven't been there, but, I, yeah, I've heard it's absolutely beautiful. Um, a a must-go must place, the rocks. So lots of history, well, lots of Australian history. You know, we're only a couple hundred years old here, but well, for, for us anyway. I mean, the Aboriginals have been 20 million years probably, or millions of years anyway. But, um, yeah, as far as buildings go, there's some gorgeous architecture there, gorgeous, gorgeous architecture. I do love a bit of architecture. Oh, I'd, I'd love it if you could do that, Jane. That would be awesome. <laughs> We definitely need it because, I mean, luckily the last week we've had some decent we, – we went from one extreme to the other. So we've still got fires burning on all fronts. There's still quite a few burning and they probably won't go out now till 
go on till our summer ends, end of Feb, and that's our hottest month. We haven't even got to the hot stuff yet. So we've got a couple of months left to be wary. But, um, yeah, I'd be, I can't wait for winter. <laughs> so now I'm just popping in the same mix. I'm just adding another layer. So it's cobalt blue ultramarine just to give them a bluey grey tint. Pop a bit of detail underneath them. Okie doke. So we'll just darken this bubba, the very underneath of it. So that way it's got a shadow area. Dolphins are actually quite easy because they're almost monotone. Thanks, Jane. Yeah, it's, I haven't drawn a dolphin in ages. And I, I have always loved doing them. So since, I, you know, when I was a kid, I used to draw them. You know, they're one of my go-to sketch things along with mice. Mice is my absolute favourite subject. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I used to draw dolphins heaps when I was a kid. So I did to do the same to mum now. I'll just take another layer underneath. Hi, Chrissy, how you going? Thanks for coming. So I've got all me, all me set up working today, so I'm a bit excited. <laughs> it all, all seems to be, I shouldn't say that too soon, but, yay, it's all worked really well so far. And I even pressed go live today. <laughs> so, yeah, last week, oh, my goodness, I um, forgot to press go live. I just thought it did it automatically. So I, and people could hear me, but they couldn't see me. So that was entertaining. So then I had to stop it all and start again. And thank God I had one of my kids home. I sort of ran outside and went, help. <laughs> they came over and helped me. So that was a bit cool. Oh, you just finished the painting, Chrissy. Cool bananas. So what did you do? What did you do today? Are oh, you working on your commission, the one with the bear in? Because that looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, my God, I've drawn a bear a couple of times and they're fur. Wow, there's a lot of work in fur. <laughs> there's an awful lot of work in fur. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I saw that the other day and I was like, oh, my God, that's looking beautiful. And a giant landscaping with it as well, which is oh, it's going to be gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just going to darken up this baby dolphin as well. And let that top one dry a little bit. So I'll just do that back pectoral fin, make that a bit darker. Pop underneath the shadowy bits. I'm still just using the same wash of burnt umber ultramarine. I should be a bit braver, shouldn't I? I should go a bit stronger in the colour. It looks I think the contrast on the the video camera is a bit lighter than I'm actually seeing in reality. So, but I was saying earlier, the kids are setting me up or setting me up, in the process of setting me up, my other laptop, uh, which has better graphics and all that sort of stuff. So they've wiped everything off it now so I can have a fresh computer and start again because this thing that I'm working on now is about... Oh, 10 years old, 11 years old, and it's Windows something just after Vista. So I don't even remember what that is that long ago. So yeah, I'll be working on a laptop next week, so that'll be good. So now I'm popping the eyes in just this so it's quite light. I will do their pupils and stuff after. And she's actually got a greyish fin. It's in water reflection shadow. Mm. Oh, burying a tree with two cubs. That would be an awesome picture, Jane. Go for it. You should just go for it. That would be gorgeous. Oh. 
I love baby animal anything. <laughs> One can never draw too many baby animals. And, yes, you can do it, Jane. Just go for it. <laughs> you can do it. So I'll pop the shadow on this little bub. And then down, because in the reference photos that I've got, I've got three references in front of me. And the dolphins, I've made up the positions. So this dolphin, it's, the baby's actually up here. So in the reference, so I've got to change the lighting on him to make it look right. So I'm sort of guessing <laughs> where the lighting needs to be. So we shall see how that goes. Nothing like living on the edge, hey. <laughs> Live on the wild side. And because the water is sort of ripply, they've got reflections like lighter ripples. Like So I'm going to leave those little areas a little bit lighter so it looks like they've got ripples of light on their back. I've tried three times this week. did manage the brown tree snake. Oh, wow. I want to draw a snake too. I haven't done a snake. Okay, and that they, the, the scales on those are incredible. I managed the brown tree snake these times, three times. Push. So maybe the fourth time would be the best work. Yes, awesome. Cool. Yeah, snakes are incredible. And um, I actually follow a guy um, who, what's he called? The snake. He is specifically a snake artist. I think, oh, he's called the snake artist. There you go. Hi, Sheila, how you going? Yeah, snakes are beautiful animals. They are, well, they're, they're magnificent to look at. We get lots of them here. I've got, you know, where I live, we're on a farm and there are, you know, summer. I don't go outside with without boots on because ours are venomous as well. <laughs> they're not the cute cuddly kind. And, um, yeah, so I don't go outside without gum boots and jeans and stuff because, yeah, there's snakes everywhere and we've got browns and blacks and the odd tiger snake. So, but they're beautiful. I definitely would love to draw them. So, but check out the snake artist because he does, he actually takes a travelling show around with um, live snakes and paints them live. So in front of crowds. I get dreamt about them. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> not if you hate them. It's definitely not good. <laughs> so I'm just going to wet this little bubba and I'm going to do her ripply sunny bits where her light reflections will be. That actually looks pretty good. So I'm sort of bluffing my way through here. I've not tried reflections, so we'll just see how that goes. I'm going to make that a bit thicker. So a bit more burn umber, a bit more ultramarine. Oh, sorry, cobalt. Ultra cobalt, cobalt and burnt umber. And I'll darken up the baby shadow. Yeah, cool. You'll, it's really fascinating. It's awesome. And the detail in the scales, oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, I had a, <laughs> last, last summer I had a brown snake on my veranda. And they're highly venomous. You know, you'd have to get to hospital pretty quick to get after you got bitten by one of them. But um, it was looking at me and I was looking at it and it was looking at me and I was looking at it and I'm like, okay, I just won't ever go outside again. <laughs> We're sitting on my front veranda going, come on, come out. So, uh, yeah, it, it went away. <laughs> Thank God. It went, it went off into the garden. I think it decided my veranda was a nice spot to sit. Okay, so I'll pop a little bit more shadow on the bub. Your favourite thing to draw is chickens. Wow. Yeah, I, I must admit, I, I love chickens. I had chickens when I was growing up. But, um, yeah, I don't draw them often. But, yeah, I, I like drawing birds in general. Feathers, oh, God, feathers, feathers are a challenge. They're fun with watercolour because you can almost go a bit impressionisty. And I've done a couple in pen, not chickens, but birds in general, pen and pencil and stuff. But, gee, I find the feathers a challenge. So I'm just darkening up the shadows on the pet fins. Oh, horses, yeah. One can never draw too many horses.
and any kind of horses, draft horses, ponies. I actually did a portrait of my friend's ponies a little while ago. She's got two miniature ponies and they live here, Tex and Zorro. <laughs> so I did a portrait of them for her So because they, they she's, she's had to move into town. So she comes out and checks on them and stuff. But I gave her a photo because so she used to have them at her own place. But um, so now she's got a painting of them that she can look at them all day, every day. So now I'm just going to grab a slightly thicker consistency of ultramarine cobalt blue. Make a slightly stronger black or grey, dark grey. And I'm going to top, pop in, just looking at these references, the shadow under the bub. And I'm using what I'm using, a size 4 brush. So I'm using quite a small brush. I like my small brushes. I don't do much large scale work. I tend to, my A4 is about as big as I get. I have done a few bigger ones over the years, but I definitely feel more confident doing smaller scale work. So I just pop Bub's tail, because I forgot to cover that. Rightio, they're starting to take shape. I didn't, I didn't, for Nell's birthday. Oh, I'll have to go and have a, have a look. So I'll pop a bit more. There, it's starting to look okay. It looks pretty good. I did my, with my friend's daughter's horse and was, was she was well trapped. I handed it over to her mum to give to her only to find out it was her daughter's Francis. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh. Not to worry. Okay, so pop their little pupils in. And I might just darken up. They've got a line that comes from their nose and goes to their eyes. So I might just deepen that shadow up there like that. All right, so it's starting to come together. Deepen that shadow on that fin. Righto, so I've got to get a bit braver with the contrast now. So at the end, I'll let it dry, and at the end, I'll go over the whole thing with the blue and just give it a like a, a coating, and that should make the dolphins not look like they're popping out too much. But I'm sort of, like I said before, I'm sort of bluffing my way through. I don't do a lot of water, so this is a challenge. It's definitely a, a fun challenge, but it's a challenge. Got to darken up this one's shadow areas. So I'm going to damp my brush again and go a step darker. She was talking, taking the mic, so she's 59. Oh, no! <laughs> That's awesomely not nice, but awesome. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, golly gosh. 70. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Yeah, I have definitely have days where I feel like that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to spread this around a bit because it's a bit, should have wet the dolphin again completely, but that's okay. You live and learn. Learning is a journey. Hey, Laurie, how you going? Okie doke. So just darkening up. I'm now, while that's still damp, going to pop a bit more darking under here. Give it a real contrast. Be brave, got to go for it, got to put more contrast in everything. <laughs> That's why, because I have a, I go to art class down here near where I live, and my art teacher's always like, Jen, you got to have more shadow, more dark, you got to, you know, whatever you think it is, multiply it. Don't just, don't just settle for, for, okay, that's almost dark enough. Go for it, make it really dark. <laughs> so, yeah, you see, whatever you think it's supposed to be, make it three times darker. So I'm trying to <laughs> get braver with my shadows. 
and my dark areas. Oh yeah, and guys, you'll notice I have a new avatar on my channel. It's no longer a possum. It's a gorgeous little avatar that's that's very, very like me, actually, minus a couple of wrinkles, but very like me. And Laurie at the Laurie Files made it for me. So, which was really, really cool. And I, I yeah, it was just awesome. So I absolutely love it. Because every time I look at it, it, <laughs> it makes me smile. So yeah, pop over to the Laurie Files and have a look. She does beautiful work and poetry and all kinds of stuff. Oh, you flood, yeah, oh, my God, has it flooded your house, Laurie? Oh, goodness, that's not good. Because it's been ridiculous, the amount of rain, which is great for the water tanks and the dams, but not real good for keeping houses nice and, and organised because yeah, water on your carpet is not a good thing. It's flooded the main highway. Oh, yeah, because you're blocked in, hey? Okay, so that's starting to come together, getting a bit stronger with the shadows. You don't have carpet? I have animals. Oh, <laughs> good point. Me too. Yeah, we used to have carpet and we got that flowery carpet um, that, uh, you know, like the 1900s flowery carpet because I love the animals indoors. So I thought that's that's probably the, the friendliest idea for animals to have multicoloured park carpet, but then... After a while, yeah, no, nah, it's still held here. So um, pulled it all up, got floorboards, and I love my floorboards. Love, 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 love my floorboards. Absolutely heaven on earth. And because we're in a warm climate, you know, you don't don't have to worry about the floor getting cold or any of that sort of stuff that you can have, I suppose you can have in other places. Thanks, Chrissy. I I drew dolphins a lot when I was a kid. I used to love them. And um you know, they're, they're quite a simple shape. They're a good, fun thing to draw. But I thought I'd challenge myself. I just couldn't decide whether to do um, dolphins or I was going to do sparrows. But um, at the start, Obi was here. And I said, okay, what am I drawing? Am I doing dolphins or am I doing, doing sparrows? And I needed to practice backgrounds in both. So it was Obi helped me pick dolphins. So I thought I'm not confident with water, so I'm going to have a go with water. So I'm going to actually start now because I think the dolphins are doing pretty good. Um, yeah, fires and flood. Talk about one extreme to the bloody other. Too much. It's just too much. It's like, oh, I, yeah, it's a mess. It's one hell of a mess. So now I'm going to go in and darken up the water, I reckon. So I'm going to grab my big brush again and go back in with pure cobalt. We'll see how this goes. Being brave because the water in the picture. Hi, Art Adventure. How are you going? Good to see you here. Okie doke. So I'm just going to darken up. We'll be brave, bigger strokes top of the water leaving bits the ripply bits and just in the top and I can solid actually I'll make that darker again make that darker again just add to it do that leave some ripply bits like that and trim around me little dolphin. You watch me go and put paint all over me dolphins. <laughs> it's inevitable. Hi, Dina. How are you going? I've been looking through, looking to splurge on a new DSLR lens. Oh, but I'm so clueless when it comes to cameras. Then I saw your notification and decided to distract myself. Awesome. I saved you from cameras, getting confused by camera lenses. My daughter is a mad camera person. She loves her photography. And the, the, the lenses, oh, my God, there's so many different stuff, so much different stuff you can get. She actually offered me her DSLR to film with, but it's just way too scary. <laughs> it's, it's like, no, 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 I can't do that. There's too much technology involved. And, yeah, I have meltdowns. I have little ner mini nervous breakdowns with technology. <laughs> 
don't handle it well at all. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't envy you having to research. And there's so much. It changes so much. Nikon D850. Oh, awesome. I actually, believe it or not, use my iPhone. I have, today I'm using, what am I using today? I got a new little webcam thingy and I forgot what it's called, but it's a little webcam thing. It's a Logitech webcam and the kids helped me set it up the other day just for live streaming, but for normal day-to-day -day stuff, I've got an iPhone 11 and it's actually, it's I have an older camera, but the, the lens is better, the, the film is better. What's the, the pixels are better than my normal camera in my iPhone. So I thought I'll just stick with that for now. And it's doing the job all right on my normal camera, on my normal stuff, because I've got a, a photography app, a video app, so I can adjust the settings so it doesn't strobe and I can adjust the lighting and all that sort of stuff. So, and I can film indefinitely with it, which I like. Like it can literally just keep on keeping on because I've got the, the one gig memory. So it can hold a lot of a lot of film. It's starting to look all right. It's starting to get there. So I might take it the darkest water back behind them a bit more. So how have you been, Dina? Oh God, I'm so excited. I, I, I did my piece for your challenge. It's on um, um, the timer thingy that you. I forgot. I'm really bad at words. I'm having a not. I can't do words day today. Um, but uh, the Red Rover Challenge, I did my piece, so it's just now it's just on timer, so it'll pop up on the 31st. So that's heaps of fun. A bit excited about that. So that was an awesome challenge. I know. I was a bit, oh, yay, I want to I show it to you now. I want to show it to you now. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know how to do that, so I've just put it on. <laughs> uh, without showing the world, I don't know how to do it. So, <laughs> so yeah, it'll pop up on the on the 31st, so that'll be good fun. And I know a few of my friends are doing it. So, yeah, it'll be awesome. So, yeah, everyone have a go at Dina's challenge too. Hi, Loria, how are you going? Great to see you here. Righto, so I've got a bit of contrast happening there. On a short break at work, so I thought I'd say, oh, oh awesome, thank you so much. So what time is it where you are, Aloria? Or Angie? Aloria? Angie. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now what next, what next, what next? Okay, so I'm going to add a bit of contrast down the bottom because, like I said before, I've got three re references in front of me. So... I am going to darken up, probably a bit too much grey in there, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to, while it's wet, plob some blue in. And I'll just make that. Oops, it's still a bit too grey. That's what happens when you don't wash your brush properly. Naughty Jenny, I am. So I'll just, doesn't matter though. You'll learn, living and learning. So I'll just soften the edges of that. And take it. Up there, I can still soften that even more just by doing just taking the damp brush and just running it up a little bit more. Just keep moving that around so I don't end up with any harsh lines. Right, okay, I still reckon. Thanks, Dina. I do love dolphins. They're beautiful. Oh, my God, I was talking the other day too. Anything, I love sea life. I love dolphins. I love sharks. Believe it or not, I love crocodiles because they're such amazing-looking animals and um, don't want to go in the water with one, but I love looking at them. And seals, oh, my goodness. We have a rescue seal here at Melbourne Zoo. Um, she got stuck on a beach and she was malnourished and she had all kinds of problems. So they took her to the, the zoo for rehab and I cannot do a dolphin sound lorry. <laughs> You're evil. That's funny, but no, I'm not doing dolphin noises. <laughs> oh, see, now I'm thinking about dolphin noises. That's not correct. That's not a good thing. So um, 
anyway, back to the seal. So <laughs> I went to the zoo and quite often I got, I've got like a, a pass that I can go constantly so I can just go whenever I want to. And I um, went and I took my drawing stuff and I sat down and here was the girls in their training area. So they've got a little bit at the back of the zoo and the gate thing was open. So I just popped my chair in the corner. Excuse my dogs. So they've decided they've seen my friend Sandy's here to check her ponies and they've decided they're going to protect the house. Pippi, bear. And um, so I sit in the corner inconspicuously out of the way. Oh, Dina, no. <laughs> you guys. Anyway, so I sit down and the girls say, oh, would you like to come a bit closer? So they let me not into the enclosure but nearer so I could um, sit there and I watched them train this seal for a good 45 minutes. I had to teach her to put her flipper on the X-ray pad because she'd had damaged flippers. So they had her run up, pop her little flipper on the X-ray camera and then run back again. And it was just so cool. So I sat there for about 45 minutes painting this seal up close and it was just the most gorgeous, gorgeous experience. And I'm trying to think of a dolphin noise. They sort of go, <laughs> <laughs> that's all you're getting. That is all you're getting of a dolphin noise, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, they sort of they click, don't they? They sort of click. I can't do, I can, oh, yeah, no, I can't do, I'm not, see, you've got me. <laughs> Pippi, go outside, go outside, go on, go. I apologise to my little doggy. Go on, out, out. Be gone, puppy. Goodness gracious me. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, no, that was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, no, yeah, no, that was bad. <laughs> so now I reckon, uh, I don't, no, my girlfriend's just turned up. She's got her ponies here and she pops in of the morning to feed them and she comes and she brings a schmacko. So every time she comes, the dogs go psycho because they see her and they're like, oh, she's going to give us a schmacko. So they bark and squeal and carry on because the world's an exciting place. <laughs> Pippi, oh, my God, Pippi sounds like a pack of hounds. The hounds are the Vascovilles, that dog. She's she's only tiny. She's a teeny tiny little Jack Russell. And I swear she sounds like a pack in full cry. She is just, and oh, the first time she did it, because she was born like that, the first time she did it, I nearly died. I thought she'd hurt herself. Yes, they do. They do. My husband's a farrier. Or he's a blacksmith, but he's, you know, he's also a fairy. A fairy is probably the mainstay of the business. Um, and, yeah, the dogs love it, but they get stinky fluffs. <laughs> it's very good for their teeth, though, because it's only horse hair. All it is is, is um, keratin, isn't it? So can't hurt him. But yeah, quite often we'll throw it to the dogs when he's trimmed the horse's feet and all that sort of stuff. Oh, Cool. Very, very cool. So I think we're all horse people to a degree. There's lots of us are horsey people. You know, I've been, I've had horses all my life. I only actually just stopped riding this year. But um, I've always ridden horses and had horses. I'll never be without a horse. I'll always have one. I've got my old retired ones now. Yeah, I love the heavy horses. Chrissy, you and I have discussed that before. They're just magnificent animals. Absolutely magnificent animals. If I was ever to ride again, it would be a Clyde because they're just amazing animals. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to maybe pop a little bit. That's still a little bit damp, not terribly, but a little bit damp. Yeah, that's the thing. Horses are so, they are incredibly expensive and it's only going to get worse with the way feed is, especially here in Australia because the crops have either burnt or failed. So all the hay's been burnt and, and up north there's no water or there's now yeah, there's too much water but there was no water. I rode a pony at the Dodge Country Fair. Mother told me I didn't want to come off the road. <laughs> Sorry if I have my horses at the moment. Yeah, we've got, we've got paddock full. <laughs> Yeah, I just love horses. I just love, love being around them. They're really therapeutic. They smell beautiful. They, you know, they're just they're nothing nicer than listening to them munch on grass and the smell of loose and hay. Love the smell of loose and hay. And we've actually got some in our loft at the second. 
we're hanging on to it just in case, but it is beautiful. You walk out in the shed and it just smells beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to have to do some ripply bits on the bottom so the bottom isn't just... So I'm just going to wet me, clean me brush because I need to clean me brush and I'm just going to put a wet, wet brush, put a wet brush, speak English, Jen, run the wet brush around underneath the dolphins and then I'm going to darken up this colour a little bit more, just make it a bit more... Um, give it a bit more strength and I'll leave the middle a little bit lighter or I can darken up I'll just take that up because it'll run sort of back run up itself a bit sorry if I don't get to everyone's comments guys I'm um, I'm trying to read as much as I can <laughs> but if I miss anyone please forgive me I'm trying to keep up and and see everyone's in comment get us near attack Oh, yeah, my daughter's like that. Oh, my God. She oh, she swells up. She, she's allergic to cat hair. She's allergic to horse hair. She gets hay fever, the poor kid, and she lives on a horse farm <laughs> with cats. <laughs> so, okay, so now I'm just going to drop the blue in. So this is still cobalt blue, just pure, not, not diluted. I'll just wet the paper and I'll let the, let the paper do its thing. Being careful not to go too close to the edge because I don't want any sharp lines at all. So that will give me the effect of the bottom. Trying not to get any sharp lines. Now my dogs want to come back in and say, hang on, Tick, I've got to open the door. Who have I got? Bear Bear! So that's my bear dog. He's coming in. <laughs> oh, cool bananas. Thank you, Chrissy. Thanks, Laurie. <laughs> Thought you had horses in your lift for a second. Love the smell of that bestial hat, the one that's got the angel of beard. My friend owns horses and I'll look after them sometimes. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, we're lucky. We live on a bit of land. So, and we've got, we've only got, my husband's got the, like, the one horse that's ridden now. The rest are retired. I've got little honey who's, my quarter horse but she broke her wither in three places she flipped over being a silly bugger the one day and and broke three vertebrae which healed so but she's an awesome pet so we'll just keep her forever as a pet and we've got willow who's a clyde stale and she lives down the back and she's we actually she was a mare i used to have someone i sold that mare and the people sold me back her foal so yes yeah, so i've got willow down the back but we don't ride her she's got some issues and, yeah, my husband's got a pure quarter horse, Denny, and he rides him. And, yeah, the two mini ponies, Tex and Zorro, who were very, very cute. <laughs> and I have Mr Biggles. Mr Biggles was my old hunter and jumper, and he's a Clydesdale, and he I'm, he's babysitting for a friend of mine. She's got two horses, and if she takes one away, the other one gets um, upset. So I, I lend her Mr. Biggles. So Mr. Biggles, my Clydesdale, is a babysitter. So, yeah, so he may never, he, he's, but he's quite happy there because she spoils him rotten. <laughs> okay, Aloria, have an awesome day. Thank you so much for popping in and elementary school. Oh, that's, that's a job. <laughs> have a good rest of your day and enjoy your weekend. Okay, so now I am going to, I reckon the water's about done. I'm just going to. I reckon deepen up. Oh, my brush has gone all hairy. What happened to that? I've got a hairy brush. It's decided to molt. Okay, there we go. So, so now that's the darkest. It's ultramarine. Sorry, cobalt burnt umber. And I'm just darkening that up a fraction more around the nose. Gotta go a bit, a bit stronger while it's still wet. Do that shadow on that fin. Take that down there. Catch you later, uh, uh, Angie. Okay. Bear. 
Yeah, bear. Okay, you can go outside. Go on. Okay, so I'm just going to keep at these shadows. So I'm just building them up slowly because I'm trying to get contrast in their shadowy bits. And because this dolphin is actually meant to be up here, the light's different, so I'm sort of making this little one up as I go along. Rightio. So now a little bit of shadow there. Let's open up that eye. And I'll make a bit more contrast along the top here with the ripply bits, the reflections, and take it down to there there as well just let that do it actually I might mop that out a little bit where's my papery bit there's my papery bit just blob the edges of that so it's not so it won't dry hard looking like that and then I can move it around a little bit and just take it into little ripples okay it's starting to come together Okay, so I am now popping some reflections on the barb. And I apologise for the dinging. I turned my phone off, my, my, my volume off, but it's still dinging. <laughs> I don't know how to make it stop dinging. So, <laughs> so we're going to have dings occasionally. <laughs> um, let me darken up that dorsal fin on the barb. And I just realised when I'm looking at the big screen, I can see that their mouths aren't defined. So I'll go back in, try and keep it so it's not a stark, harsh line. But so, oops, soften up. Their mouths give them a bit more definition for their mouths. I'm pretty happy with that water, guys. I think that's Facebook. Yes, it is. It is my thingy, my Facebook and my um, messenger. Yes. And I, I have no idea how to turn any of that stuff, like the, the volume on the dinghies off, notifications. But I don't want to miss them either. So. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll leave it on. <laughs> I could get the kids to turn it off if I really wanted to. But um, I love catching up with all my, my YouTube buddies on the different media. We all sat up till like the middle of the night last night. One of our friends had some awesome, exciting news. So we all sat up chatting till the wee hours of this morning. <laughs> so that was a bit of fun. So now I'm just going to do a bit more. It was only the wee hours of this morning in Australia. You didn't get to bed till 1am. <laughs> yeah, no. oh, oh, oh. yeah, we had a friend who... Um, um, uh, Darkest Raven Designs, who was accepted into Jazz's competition. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> it was so incredibly exciting. And we're all sort of in the same circle and the same set. So we all sort of got online together and were chatting and cheering her on. And, oh, my goodness, it was just so much fun. But then, of course, watching how it was happening, none of us could sleep. Well, the ones on this side of the planet couldn't sleep and it was the middle of the night, so we were all sitting up and on that side of the world it was just going crazy because, <laughs> yeah, uh, her channel got picked and her video got shown and, oh, my goodness, it was so incredible. So, yeah, so none of us got much sleep last night. <laughs> so, yeah, it was very cool and it was awesome to be able to share it with anyone. She's at 3,600. Oh, my God. I know, and you know what? Oh, it's going to go. It's going to go absolutely berserk. <laughs> it was like New Year's. It was countdown. It was oh, and we're, we're all watching the count and going up and up and up and up and up, and it was just insane. But God, it was so much fun. But yeah, I need to sleep because <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I thought I've got to double check all the settings on the doodah because I had no idea how, how my doodah was going to run properly. So. Um, yeah, this community is awesome, um, guys. I, I just love how everyone 
really gets together and really supports each other. It's just wonderful. You know, it's just awesome. The, I, I love this community. So, and I love just having like-minded people being able to share my art and everyone's art. You're going to have a nana nap. Yeah, me too. Oh, my God. I'm not actually sure of the competition, um, what it was what it was called, because I I actually didn't see it. I didn't, you know, um, I didn't see the qualification thingies or anything. Um, but I think because because uh, Jazza was going away, or he just wanted other other people to put their videos on for a, for a, a week. So every day he's had a different. He's picked a small channel, and he's shown their video, and and um, sent people across to their page, and it has been wonderful. You know, talk about giving back to the community. So yeah, he's just and he's, he's calling out all the all the little channels, and yeah, it's and he's just yeah, getting them out there. It's just wonderful. So yeah, but it's awesome fun. But I don't think I've screamed so much in my whole life cheering everyone on. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's been it's so funny, but my poor husband. <laughs> You can hear me because I'm chatting away and I'm sort of squealing when the as account's going up and, and he's like, what, 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 what? I said, oh, my God, she's got to this or she's got to that. And, yeah, it was sort of all going a bit haywire. <laughs> That's unique. The beauty gurus can keep their – oh, my God. <laughs> I accidentally watched one of those beauty – oh, they are crazy people. Are they for real? Yeah, talk about drama. But they make it public. Oh, for goodness sake. I was, oh, yeah, I must live in a bubble because I've never met anyone as nuts as me. <laughs> yeah, talk about drama. Wowee. <laughs> yeah, no, I did. I watched it and I couldn't not watch. It was like a train wreck. <laughs> Oh yeah, they are they are amazing. That's a whole other world. Yeah. I yeah, the only makeup I'd do would be in an art challenge and I'd make a painting out of it. <laughs> but yeah, nah, 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 nah. But yeah, they love love a bit of conflict. Not me, they do. I don't I don't love conflict conflict, I run a mile. Yeah, I can't put makeup on. I never ever learned how. Even eyeliner within 10 minutes is halfway down my face. So I think my eyes are designed really weird, so they don't hold makeup well. And I and I my eyes always water. I did that made a painting from makeup. Yeah, I did. I I I've seen a few of those actually lately. I'll have to go back and check through your stuff and have a look. I think oh because I don't I think I saw it, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Not a hundred percent sure. But yeah, because foundation looks like pastel powder. It is awesome. My eyes water. Yeah, me, my too. Yeah, no, nah, I just don't do makeup anymore. Or if I do, I look like an 80s throwback because <laughs> I tend to go a bit heavy with colour. But, yeah. So it's just safer not to. <laughs> Righto. So now looking at my references, what else do I need to do? I reckon... I'm going to darken the top just a fraction more. That is still quite damp. And I'm using um, hot press. See, the bottom's dry. I'm using hot press paper because I love smooth. I'm not real good at I don't like texture particularly. So, and it dries differently to the, the hot press dries differently. So I'll just wet, re-wet that again. Yep, that's dry enough. That was lucky, wasn't it? That could have been a mess. <laughs> so I'll re-wet that. Go back into the clean water and re-wet that. Like whatever half to baby Jane. Red circles in the chair. Yes! Uh, there's a show here, Kath and Kim, and I don't know whether you guys have seen it over there overseas. 
but they are very Australian and they are very funny and they are very bad at doing makeup. And they have purple eyeshadow and pink lipstick and it's, oh, it's so wrong it's right. <laughs> but, yeah, that's me. If you, if, you, if you Google search Kath and Kim, yeah, I'm Kimmy. <laughs> um, yeah, wherever you are in the world, they're worth watching. God, they're hilarious. Um, yeah, it's an Australian TV show and they really send up the Aussie sort of sense of humour and it's so awesome. But, yeah, I'm Kimmy. <laughs> Right, oh. I reckon, guys, this is pretty well. Any suggestions on what more I can do? Because I'm thinking I could probably define that. Because these dolphins, yeah, I love me some Kath and Kim. I think I could probably create a little bit more contrast. So I'm going to mix up a bit more. These are really simple. It is literally three colours. It's blue, cobalt blue, uh, Payne's grass, and I cobalt blue, burnt umber, and actually, no, it's two colours in this painting. It's only cobalt blue and, and burnt umber. Wow, there you go. I've done that with two colours, and I didn't even notice as I was doing it. <laughs> I'm just like, hang on a minute, what else did I use? And I didn't use anything else. So I'm just going to blue up the belly on this one. So, yeah, that's there you go. It's only two colours. Nice and easy. I kept that simple accidentally. Yeah, I'm not good at – I'm actually really not great at mixing colours I've, because I've, I've, drawing's my passion. Like, drawing's my first love. I've always just adored sketching. So I've never, I never learnt to mix colours as a kid. So, yeah, so that, that's something I've learnt. How old am I now? Ugh, let's not go there. Anyway, I um, oh thanks Jane. Um, but yeah, color mixing is something I've learned in my thirties. So because uh, up to then, I'd drawn or bought like pre-mixed sort of what do they call them? Easy colors that were already pretty well the color you needed them to be. So I've only just learned how to mix. And the, on the opposite, pencil is awkward. See, so pencil, I find pencil and pen, it's just heaven. That's my relaxation. But I've been going to art classes. I've got a couple of awesome, I've got an animal artist instructor and a human portrait instructor. And, you know, they both teach quite differently. But um, the animal artist friend, he does, he's really good at mixing colours. And he's taught me the theory behind it because no matter how much reading I do, it just doesn't sink into my head. I, I'm like a squirrel. I, I'm <laughs> so easily distracted. But, yeah, if I, if I read it, it's in, in my head and out my head. But if I see it, then I'm okay. I can, And so he can show me. He can physically show me how to mix a colour. And my animal, uh, the human portrait teacher, um, is brilliant with pastels and layering and... You know, they both teach awesome things. They've got different skill sets and are teaching me the different skills, So, which has been fantastic. So, yeah, but colours, I'm still a work in progress. So, yeah, I try to stick to a minimal, minimal palette if I can. Okay, I'm just going to darken. Yeah, I'm very much a visual learner. You know, I can read it and read it and read it and it will not sink in. Okay, yeah, I'm going to show me and I've got it, but, yeah. Hence, I wasn't very good at school. <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, okay, so now this, I'm going to soften that grey a bit. Uh, I've got to, I've got to fix this tail. I'm not happy with the tail. I think it looks too sort of sideways. I've got to. Uh, I reckon if I pop a shadow in there, because it does have a shadow, I've got to make that stronger. It does have a shadow. No. Yep. Okay, and I'll grab a dry brush. And try and move it around a little bit. 
That's good. You watch, I'm going to bugger up the tail. <laughs> I'm trying to fix it. And that is when it usually falls apart. When you're trying to fix something and you fiddle, that is usually where not great things happen. <laughs> so I'm just going to lift that off. Okay. I think I see what I've done. I think I've made that line there too thick. So I'm going to see if I can lift it. So wet me brush and go back in and try and re-wet that and lift it a little bit. And then blot, 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 blot. Wet, wet, wet. That's making it a bit less harsh. Blot, 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 blot. Yep, starting to get better. Oops. And the dogs have run outside again, so prepare to hear barking. <laughs> because we also have kangaroos. Because um, we've got, um, they're coming down to the to the water because we've got no grass left. And they're coming down to the, the we've got lawns around the house because we had dam water. And we managed to keep some of the grass alive around the house. So we've got kangaroos coming down and eating the grass in the house paddock. That's what I did with my snake. I, instead of keeping him in, I watercolored. <laughs> yeah, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. <laughs> uh, okay, so now this one, I'm just going to shadow shape over the fin and stop it there. So that's actually got a shadow like that on it. And then that one the same. So it leaves a separation in the middle. Right, eh? I reckon that's about as good as I'm going to get that tail. I'm going to leave it alone right there. I could do more, but I've lost my nerve. I'm going to leave it there. Kangaroos are magnificent. They are the most beautiful things, and they're so highly intelligent. Um, yeah, we've got about probably about 80 that come down overnight, and they're, they're not tame by any means, but they'll let you close. They'll let you reasonably close. Wallabies are gorgeous. We, we, live, we live near Hanging Rock. So I don't know whether any of you guys have heard of Picnic at Hanging Rock. We live near Hanging Rock and they have little rock wallaby kind of things and they are the teeniest, tiniest, cutest little animals and because they're protected up there, they haven't learned to be scared of people. So they're, real, they're, you know, they're protected, well and truly protected in there. They, you know, they can't get near the roads. They're fenced in. Oh, I did a painting of those ones. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Chrissy. Give me animals any day of the week, any day of the week. So any animal, you know, gorillas, I can put up with in small doses, but every other kind of animal, really happy to have around. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but the little, um, I forgot what those wallabies are called. I did a portrait of one a, a while ago. They're not ringtails, are they? Ringtail wallaby? Yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I like I like my art people. Art people, not not general public. <laughs> Give me arty people. Because we all speak the same language. It's a universal art. Right, oh. Oh, ooh, must get paint on the brush. Note to self, get paint on brush before one sticks brush on paper. Okay. I think I am possibly going to call this done. What do you guys reckon? I reckon it might be just about where I want it to be. I can't. Oh, now I'm fiddling. And once you start fiddling, that's when you stop. So I'm just going to pop my signature. I'll make sure that's dry so I don't go and have... Big smudges all across my page. Just do it in the same blue, like they. Yeah, I will. I will. So I need to not be doing that because that's my habit. Is I don't know when to stop, and I keep going and going and going. And yeah, I'm starting to fiddle. So fiddle needs to stop. So I'm going to pull me me sidey bits off. You watch me tear the paper. Now that I've said that, hopefully I won't. I love how you get this strip. I love the, con the, the, the bit at the end. It's just like having a little frame. 
So I'm going to pop me edgy bits off. And take that down there. And oops, get that bit. Oops, oops, oops. The bottom bit. Oops. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, this paper is really good. The sticky tape's really good, rather. It's got so much sticky on it. And I stuck it to my leg first so that I pulled some of the sticky off. There we go. Got to get some more washi tape. Righty oh. Oh, thank you so much, Chrissy. And thank you so much, guys, for coming along today and sharing this with me. I absolutely love, 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 love having you guys. Oh, thanks, Laurie. I've gone back to my gold sparkles. <laughs> I couldn't live without my sparkles. But, um, yeah, thank you so, so much for coming along. And, yeah, I will be back live streaming next week. Warm it with hair dryer makes it release. Oh, yes, that's a good idea, actually. That's a very good – oh, now it's all stuck to me now. Ah! Um, but, yeah, no, that's a good idea. I might do that next time. I'll have to make sure my doodah's plugged in because I keep forgetting to plug my doodah's in. So I went to pick up the hairdryer before and it wasn't plugged in, so I wasn't going to do much. <laughs> I have to wave it over the painting. Anyway, guys, have an awesome morning, day, night, evening, weekend. Have an awesome weekend. I will be back next Saturday. And, yeah, love yous all, and I'll catch you next time. Okie doke. See you guys. Love you back and your front. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, guys.